Ladies and gentlemen, Merciless has been partially broken for quite some time. The conserve momentum intrinsic trait was completely non-functional, which was crippling this fusion rifle's usefulness in PvE. But a few weeks prior to the start of Season 13, Bungie announced that Merciless would finally be fixed in the next update. So when Season of the Chosen rolled around, I had to see for myself. And I can confirm, Merciless is 100% fully functional again. The funny thing is, this both helped and hurt the weapon. And why will probably become a little more clear in the PvP section of the video. But not only is Merciless working as intended, but all fusion rifles saw an increase to their physical range with Season of the Chosen which could allow Merciless to have a little bit more potency on both sides of the game. So we're going to dive into Merciless and give it a full breakdown in both PvP and PvE by taking a look at its stats, perks, general functionality, damage output, and performance. And we'll find out if Merciless is a fusion rifle worth considering in the current sandbox and worthy of your exotic slot. But if at any point during the course of this video you find it useful, helpful, or enjoyable, please remember to leave it a like, and consider subscribing to the Ironworker Gaming channel to see more Destiny 2 content presented by yours truly. But we got a lot to cover, so let's get a move on with a look at Merciless's stats and perks. Merciless is a solar exotic fusion rifle with a charge time of 908 rounds in the magazine. This weapon is most akin to high impact fusion rifles, and we can see that in the stats. Pulling in some solid numbers from Destiny Tracker, we can see that the impact is on the lighter side compared to other high impact fusion rifles. The legendary variants have a base impact of 95, we're sitting at 75. Probably notice those huge boosts to both the range and the stability. These are being pushed up through the exotic catalyst, which does greatly improve this weapon's performance. Both the handling and the reload speed are pretty average when compared to legendary high impact fusions, while we are a little bit shaky in that recoil direction. A 69 in the aim assist department is the best that you're going to find on any fusion rifle at base. The intrinsic trait, which is now fully functional, is conserve momentum. This states that non-lethal hits with projectiles make this weapon charge faster until the wielder gets a kill. The exotic perk on Merciless is impetus, so reloading immediately after a kill increases the weapon's damage for a short time. This functions in a very similar manner to Kill Clip, but many have theorized that this also provides a reload speed increase. We'll time that out in the next section. And if you don't have Merciless yet or its corresponding catalyst, the weapon itself is a random world drop or can be purchased from Xur if he happens to be selling it on a given week. The catalyst still has a chance to drop at the end of strikes to the best of my knowledge. But let's move into the PvE section and check out Merciless's damage, functionality, and performance. Alright, functionality first. Merciless fires just like a standard legendary fusion rifle. We hold down the trigger to charge the weapon, when the burst releases, it'll shoot 7 projectiles, and the gun will pull upwards as the weapon fires. For the impetus buff, we secure a kill and reload our weapon to activate the perk. There is no on-screen text showing that the perk is active, but your gun will have a slight glow to it, and this will remain active for 5 seconds. And we do in fact get a reload speed increase when procking the impetus perk. From the moment I press the reload key till the gun is back in ready position, we're looking at 2.73 seconds at base. And that reload time comes in at 1.91 seconds immediately after securing a kill. So that is a definite improvement. With conserve momentum, we need to be damaging targets without killing them to activate the trait's ability. This cuts the charge time for each consecutive burst. And when we get to the final four rounds of an eight round magazine, those spreads are coming out almost immediately. Now you can shoot a target a few times and walk away, even stow the weapon and then pull it back out. Just don't secure a kill or reload the weapon if you want to keep the trade active. And onto the damage output, and please do keep in mind that PvE damage numbers are variable depending on your power level and the power level of your enemies. On a base volley fired from Merciless, we're going to see some odd damage values. The initial projectile of the spread hits for 4,885 points of damage, and the final projectile lands for 4,563. This full spread totals out to 33,066 points of damage. If we compare this to Glacioclasm, a legendary high-impact fusion rifle with an impact stat of 95, we see a flat 4,813 points of damage per projectile. This totals out to 33,691, a shade higher than Merciless. With Merciless though, the damage values will continually decrease as conserve momentum ramps up. The next round we fire starts at 4,509 and finishes at 4,187. This is 30,434 points of total damage. The next burst is going to deal 28,172, and the burst after that will deal 26,366. With the last four rounds of our eight round magazine though, our damage numbers do level out. 
The conserve momentum perk is working at its max potential, and each volley here is going to deal 26,313 points of damage. So solely in terms of single target damage, a full magazine can deal a total of 223,290 points of damage. And if we time this out from the initial trigger pull till the final bolt hits the Colossus, we're delivering this damage in 5.8 seconds, which is some pretty decent damage. But if that's not good enough for you, we do have the damage buff from the Impetus perk. We can drop this Scion, reload our weapon to proc the damage buff, and the first projectile spread goes from 7,326 to 6,844 points of damage. This shows a 50% damage increase. Now, every time I tried this, I could only get five rounds fired off before the impetus buff expired. So that's all I'm gonna credit the weapon for. Now, if our Colossus buddy Carl was a good sport about things and didn't die on the seventh round every time, he could have taken a total of 295,465 points of damage in a full eight round magazine. For comparison's sake, I'm gonna pit this up against a Chaperone with the Roadborne buff active. I chose Chaperone because it's exotic, it has a similar damage buff, and it does not require you to barrel stuff your target. A crit here is registering for 43,501 points of damage. We're looking at a six round magazine, so if each round lands as a crit, that's gonna deal 261,006 points of damage. This weapon fires at 60 rounds per minute, and if your aim's good enough to counteract the recoil, you can deliver this damage in six seconds flat. So, Chaperone is falling just a little bit short of Merciless as far as raw damage output. So as far as performance goes, Merciless does have the ability to output a ton of single target damage for a special weapon. Even without the impetus buff proc, the damage is respectable. And being that this weapon is fully functional again, I can't think of many special exotics that can output the damage that Merciless can in a similar time frame. The fourth horseman, yes, but you do need to be at point blank range with that thing. Duality probably can, but it is quite a bother to get those black wing stacks built all the way up. Maybe Cloud Strike can compete? Merciless is definitely right back up there with him though. When there's something on the field that needs to die right now, Merciless can do that. And this weapon is extremely easy to use. Get a kill, reload, and then dump your mag right into the center mass of a target. There's no precision required whatsoever. Fusion rifles can't crit, they won't crit, and Merciless, looking at its damage output, really doesn't need to crit. It doesn't get much simpler than this. Plus, this weapon can be used from a safer distance. We'll check into the range in the PvE section, but you can keep a reasonable distance away from your target and still do really strong damage. This is gonna keep you clear of the boss's stomp radius and clear of any ads that might spawn in around the boss as your target's health depletes. Also, if you have the Catalyst unlocked for Merciless, you can generate orbs of power. And while you probably don't wanna go around picking off trash ads one by one with this thing, there is multi-kill potential. If you spray this into a pack of ads, you do have the ability to down multiple targets. I have heard people talk about how there's a blast involved when Merciless secures a kill. I honestly never picked up on this. If there is a blast, it's gotta be a really tight radius. But hey, if it's there, it could help out. Drawbacks though, for the most part, this weapon is kind of one dimensional. Its focus is single target damage. Now it's not one that I'm gonna hesitate to use on major targets on the battlefield, but it's certainly not a weapon that is going to excel at clearing ads. And you're gonna have to be dealing with that exceptionally long initial charge time, which is something that I'm sure turns a lot of players away from high impact fusion rifles in general. Merciless is gonna run through ammo really quickly also, and while that's kind of the idea behind it, you're only carrying 19 rounds in reserves, 21 if you have a fusion rifle reserves mod on. So once you proc impetus and spend a whole clip on a target, you've basically used half of your ammo reserves. So you may wanna be a little more cautious as to how you spend your rounds. Lastly, the impetus damage buff has a very short window. Once you proc it, you do need to move into position quickly to get the full effect of the damage buff. And when all the adds in a given area have been killed off, the opportunity to acquire this damage buff has been killed off also. But with that, let's head into the Crucible and see how Merciless is holding up in there. For PvP, as always, we'll start things off with our base damage numbers. We do see diminishing returns with our initial spread here again, going from 49 to 47. This is requiring 5 bolts to deal lethal damage on a Guardian running tier 6 resilience. When conserve momentum was broken, we were dealing a flat 49 points of damage and able to secure a 4 bolt kill. It's kind of a shame that fixing the intrinsic trait hurt the damage profile in PvP. But when under the effects of the impetus damage buff, our bolts are going to hit for, we'll call it an average of 72 just to keep safe from number rounding. For the first three bolts at least, because that's what we're going to need to secure a kill on an enemy guardian inside this weapon's optimal range. 
The damage buff provided by Impetus also gives Merciless the ability to down enemies in their roaming super in a single burst. You can see here we deal 197 points of damage to Agent Sparkle's Inner Spectral Blade super. And this damage is delivered in 6 bolts, meaning we still have one more to spare. With conserve momentum in PvP, you will see slight decreases to your charge time on a non-lethal hit. But the gun does not seem to be able to achieve the near rapid fire potential that we saw in PvE at the end of the magazine. But your damage will still continue to reduce after every non-lethal hit. For the optimal range, before Season of the Chosen, fusion rifles had their max optimal range hard capped at 17 meters regardless of the range stat or the zoom magnification. You could cheat this with the rangefinder perk, but that was about it. Now, physical range will increase based on the range stat. So Merciless, carrying an 81 in that department, is going to see damage fall off past the 19 meter mark. I did also want to check in on this weapon's one burst kill consistency. So I started at 10 meters, took 10 shots, recorded the results, and worked things back at 5 meter increments. At both 10 and 15 meters, I was a perfect 10 for 10 on my shots. At 20 meters, I was 5 out of 10, so only 50% here. Moving back to 25 meters, Merciless does not have enough punch to secure a kill in a single spread. But I also thought it might be worth checking right on the edge of its optimal range, 19 meters. Here, I was able to secure 1 burst kills 7 out of 10 times, so not too bad. One last thing to check on, as far as an explosive element with Merciless, I'm, uh, not seeing it here. Maybe I'm doing it wrong, but I'm not seeing any damage being dealt to the secondary target. But for the weapon's performance, I think the biggest benefit that Merciless is providing is extremely high consistency within its optimal range. Both in testing and in game, I knew that if I was on target when that spread released, that target was going down as long as I wasn't too far away. With other fusion rifles, it seems like every now and then, they're going to give you a funky projectile spread. Sometimes even at closer ranges, and this is going to cost you a one burst kill. I've never seen any inconsistencies like this when using Merciless. If I miss, it's on me, not the gun. And I'd have to say this is largely due to the stat increase from the Catalyst. A strong range stat really increases the overall accuracy of each projectile. The high stability allows for a tighter initial spread on these projectiles. And that good aim assist stat of 69 is no doubt going to factor into improved reticle stickiness and or extra bullet magnetism depending on your input method. The impetus damage increase, while it is situational, does increase both the lethality of this weapon and the consistency of this weapon at longer ranges. And it does at least give you the chance of downing a roaming super in a single burst, if you're able to proc it at the right time. For some drawbacks, during testing, I was pretty sad to see that Merciless is now a 5 bolt kill rather than a 4 bolt kill. A legendary linear fusion rifle with liquid coils, and a matching charge time of 900, will down an enemy guardian running tier 6 resilience in 4 bolts, so this kinda does devalue Merciless a little bit. And if you're not a diehard fusion rifle user, that 900 millisecond charge time is something you're definitely gonna have to acquire a feel for. Pre-charging or making a target miss while charging is essential to the success of this weapon. Then, conserve momentum not only decreased our initial spreads damage, but it can also work against Merciless and PvP in other ways. Now, maybe that decreased charge time will allow you to get a follow-up shot on an enemy guardian and secure a kill. But if you hit a non-lethal shot on a target and they take cover, and then you shift your focus to a secondary target, that next spread's damage is going to be decreased even more, which could make a difference. And lastly, Merciless is not what I would consider a long-range fusion rifle. Many legendary fusion rifles do have random perks that can increase the weapon's effectiveness at range. Merciless doesn't have this luxury, so while it is extremely consistent inside its optimal range, without some sort of damage buff, you don't want to ask too much out of it as far as range goes. So, for the verdict, seeing Merciless fully functional again in PvE is absolutely awesome. For those of you who weren't around at launch, in the early days of Destiny 2, this was a heavy weapon, and it was a very strong option. And while the game has progressed, and it wouldn't quite compete in that slot anymore, as a special weapon, I think this is a gun that needs to be considered. It has very strong single target damage that can be delivered from mid-range. I think Merciless would be a solid pick going forward. In PvP, I gotta say, I, I liked this gun better when the intrinsic trait was busted. When equipping a high impact fusion rifle, I want to see a 4 bolt kill with no damage buff required. That's kind of why I equip a high impact fusion rifle. And while Merciless kind of doesn't need to do this because the weapon is just so consistent at mid range, 
A 4 bolt kill rather than a 5 bolt kill does allow you some more wiggle room when using the gun from further out. I'm currently having second thoughts as to whether this gun is worth using your exotic slot on in PvP. Right now I think a legendary fusion rifle with a strong roll might perform as well if not better than Merciless given its current damage profile. But it is still a good weapon as long as you understand its capabilities and play within them. But if you did enjoy this video, please remember to leave it a like and consider subscribing to the Ironworker Gaming channel to catch much more Destiny 2 content in the very near future. If you'd like to catch me live, I will occasionally be streaming right here on YouTube, and if you'd like to contact me, you can look for Ironworker814 on Twitter, join our community Discord, link will be in the description, or drop me a comment down below and I will do my best to get back to you. And with all that being said, I'd like to thank you for taking the time out of your day to check out this weapon review. You guys are awesome, and I will catch you on the next one.